A lot of times, and I, and I understand, I, I, I really do. I understand how, and I remember my, my dad even having an issue with this, that he was tired of being blamed for every time uh, young people acted like idiots, that they always go back to the parenting. But um, whether my dad wants to believe it or not, the, uh, it, the, the, it appears that uh, a lot of this points back to, uh, you know, one of the things I think that is the most sad when it comes to these, um, these young celebrities that become these megastars is there anything really more pitiful than when you when you watch adults that are supposed to be parents and they become scared of their own celebrity kid because they're afraid he'll cut them off and won't give them any money? So they start well, they, 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 they start cut him off money wise, and they have enough money they can cut cut off their connection to them at all. And some of them probably, I mean, I'm trying to to get inside their head would say, well, I need to stay in the in the loop to have some control over this situation, so I won't nitpick some things because if i do i'm gonna get booted totally out right but yeah. but i think you would agree with me in this story that you probably have clouded that theory number one a if you've asked your son to help you become a rapper mm-hmm. that's justin yes. bieber's dad <laughs> and number two when he was arrested for a drag racing you were the one blocking the street yeah uh that's how that's the story we're getting now like especially buddies are hanging out especially yeah, i don't ever see my dad doing that no, no. Uh, especially since bieber was drunk at the time he was driving yeah uh and your dad is the guy out there that's that's marking off and, and here's another thing so you can go real fast we also found yeah. in this story that if you're going to steal Deshaun, I heard he was trying to get to 88 miles per hour <laughs> right <laughs> if you if you're going to steal Deshaun jackson's uh Girlfriend, <laughs> don't be rowdy in Deshaun Jackson's neighborhood because he'll turn you in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so yeah. we we found that out. I mean, what is she working the street there? Yeah, What's me, the deal? Uh, to 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 put all this in a nutshell, through all this arrest of Justin Bieber, we now have discovered that his dad uh, was blocking off the street for the drag race. Uh, that his mom was giving him prescription drugs. That he was getting some of those drugs from his own mama. What was he taking, by the way? Uh, what, what problems he got? I, I don't, I don't know. Well, he he wasn't. He was wanting to get high, high blood off, pressure off something. His mom, well, his mom was probably. <laughs> he and, got cholesterol problems. And, <laughs> and prolisex, <laughs> have a stomach problem. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and Bubba trying to show, uh, trying to show everybody that he wants to be the next Michael Jackson. When he was released from jail, he gets on top of a car and starts dancing for everybody. Yeah. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And of course, he, while while his mom and dad were were, were being part of the hooping uh, and the holler, now I don't it blame kind of, him. I, don't be surprised he's this way. No, don't be surprised. No. Hey, it is kind of funny though, Rick. Um, uh-huh. How he gets on the SUV, he dances, and he has that this, harkens back he, to Michael Jackson. I know, I know. But yet, <laughs> in the jail cell, in the holding what? cell, when he had an orange jumpsuit on, there are reports from some of the guards that he was in there crying like a baby. Well, I bet. You know. Well, let me ask you this again. I, mm. I just I, I don't know. Little, I, I don't understand why face. we always pick the the lowest common road we can go on. Yeah. I, and you know, I think that back to talking about the Sherman thing. Uh, that that's probably in my mind what I was thinking when it was going on. You had the you had him, and then you had uh, the their quarterback. Uh, what's I can't think of his name. Russell now. Wilson. Russell Wilson. And, you know, you had one that was extremely classy and then one that was putting on a show. But most of the kids out there, I would say 99 out of 100, will try to imitate Sherman. And that, and that, and that, and that I horrible. mean, why? at yeah. least if you go with blind odds, shouldn't it be 50-50? Yeah. So, but why um, isn't it? And, yeah. and like this, you're going to see, yeah. you're going to say, oh, yeah, well, Beaver, you know, we're going to do this, do that. I mean, no, nobody ever takes the high road. It well, just, we just default low road. Well, we? and, and think about this. Here's an opportunity for Justin Beaver All of to use his platform, okay, mm-hmm. to come out and say, gosh, man, what have I done? I've been arrested. I've, and, of course, you know when he was arrested, don't you, 4 a.m.? I, I was arrested. I've been running down there at the, um, you know, which I've always thought was one of the most hilarious ridiculous comments gentlemen's club mm-hmm. i mean ain't nothing they ain't, ain't a gentleman in the place and, and he's in one of these establishments i've been drag racing i've been on drugs i'm drunk and what is his response to all these young people that listen to his music when he's released he dances on top of an suv he doesn't come out and say man i need to let everybody know look my, right. the choices i've made in my life are bad and do not implement these mistakes i've made he's celebrating well, does he I, look like he's learned a lesson? And he's got the triple Rick, double this has here. Been going on all year, you know. The, he, Rick, he's made the triple instant, double. Instant, he had instant. alcohol, marijuana, and prescription <laughs> medication. Yeah. Bubba, do you see? Do you see a message? <laughs> I've learned my oh, lesson. Crazy Jane, uh, the, the King's <laughs> grass, the Devil's lettuce. Have you? Have Let's let's add to that. Let's add to that list. Satan's slaw. <laughs> <laughs>
I was going to say devil slaw, but that sounded better. Than it. So, what about Lucifer's Lily? <laughs> I love that. There we go. Oh, my goodness. So uh, so here he is. So when you're what, so if you're a person that's maybe, and I don't know why you would be uh, influenced by Justin Bieber, but right. unfortunately yeah. some people are. Sure. I mean, if you're a kid, then you like his music, and you think, man, I want to be Bieber, especially since he gave you that confusing message early on that he was going to be solid. Mm-hmm. And, and you, you look up, and you see all he's been through, and his response is, look, see, look, can, I, can, I, can I look at another aspect of this for just a minute? And I know this is – we all see it, but I, I just want to spend some time on it in a minute, okay? <laughs> Let's go back to Michael Jackson dancing on top in his pajama bottoms, okay? Yeah, don't forget that pajama pants. Justin so. Bieber doing this, Miley Cyrus and her thing. The list just goes on and on, right. okay? All right, I actually – hear me now. Walk with me. <laughs> don't, but hear what I'm saying. I actually understand how the celebrity has ended up acting the way they're acting. Now, yeah. I, I, I do. I'm mm-hmm. not saying – I'm not condoning it. And, and, and it shouldn't be this is going to happen no matter what. I know why they ended up like they are. Mm-hmm. Okay, I really do. I know the choices they made. Been there myself. Okay, here's what I don't get. The crowd that's applauding them. Y'all are confusing to me. Yeah. The celebrity is not confusing to me. I see the choices they've made. How in the world can you ever think that you're going to stand outside somewhere, not while they're going into the auditorium where you're about to see them in concert or about to go to their movie, how do you stand out there and cheer them when they're coming out you of jail? You take time to go to jail yeah, so yeah. you can see them. Yeah. You Wait. left your home, drove <laughs> down there. I right. was going to say you got off work, but probably not. Probably not. <laughs> but, Good point. I mean, do you ever ask yourself this question, what am I doing? I, 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 what am I applauding? What, what am I celebrating here today? I'm more baffled by the fans than I am that's the celebrity. Great point. Yeah. Th- that's the confusing people. I'm not talking about how I like their music. I know they're idiots. I'm listening to a song. I, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... I am celebrating this person publicly, and I'm I'm about to I'm about to I'm about to lose control of my bowels because I got to see them. You know, yeah. But Rick, I, you know, I, I don't understand. That. <laughs> yeah. well, look, I, I don't follow that. Rick, I'm not either. a I'm not a big blogger. Y'all know that. Sure, I don't I don't blogging. look and say, oh, say but speedy. but look, blogging. but it doing your blog. But it's doing fine. show prep. Sometimes mm-hmm. I'll scan down and I'll see comments made about the story written, and with his fans. He does nothing wrong. It's it's you know he's right. Everybody else is wrong. Why are they after you? That's with all you, you're fine or whatever. And it's the fandom in them that they're there to say, "Hey man, you're fine. You keep doing what you're doing." You know. It, so they what don't we're think saying, he's doing what we're wrong. saying is, when you're doing this in this scene, I'm not talking about a concert, right? In this scene, you're clapping for drag racing through neighborhoods, mm-hmm. going to strip clubs, drunk. Smoking dope and taking prescription drugs, and the parents that are out there with it. So this is what you're applauding. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, and Jackson for the and for the little girls, happened. they're right. going, "Oh, you're cute. I think you're sexy." All right, too. let me let, let me ask you this question: you if, if you well, if, they do. Let, let's say you know his motivation. He loves the limelight. He mm. loves the money. He loves the applause. Who don't? If you want that to continue. And you not end up like a long list of there celebrities who died young. Why do you think you're going to beat that when know. none of them That's a great did? Point. I don't know. Now, look, you can do this. You can end up like Michael Jackson, or you can end up like Regis Philbin, okay, who's still going. What is he, 80? Yeah, right. Had a great life, really? enjoyed life, mm-hmm. made a lot of money, household name, okay? I know it's not the same thing, but you know what I'm saying. Here's something, entertainer. It's been I mean, in the business. Maybe not look, dates, look, but yeah. I, I, just, I just pulled up here, and it's a story in the L.A. Times, and it's called Celebrities Who Died Young. They have 24 right off the top. Right. Yeah. But they're, you just, I mean, why not have your goal to have a long life and enjoy all of this that you have mm-hmm. as opposed to, you know, I really enjoy it. Well, then you're not going to enjoy it when you die in the next five, ten years. I mean, from a selfish standpoint, it's trying to get into their – why don't they want to keep doing what they're doing well, and but, enjoying it? But well, isn't, it, isn't it human nature that, hey, this isn't going to happen to me? I'm young, dumb, I'm invincible. That, yeah, that might have happened to them, but, but not to me. It's that, but let me you tell you know. what else well, it is. My, let if, me tell you what Michael else it is. Michael Jackson couldn't beat it with his connections and his fame, No pun intended. I get it. Did you say beat it? Mm-hmm. That's good. <laughs> if he That's couldn't, good. If he could not beat this scenario, <laughs> then nobody can. Nobody had yeah. more money and fame. Well, you know, he wanted to be starting something. But, 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 <laughs> I got it. But what I'm saying is this. Let, let me tell you what it really is. This is what it really is. We're all chasing around. 
Scotty McCrary hit on it, and yeah. it, it, we covered it yesterday or the day before. I can't remember which day. Yesterday. Was. So it is this. It got Harrison Ford at the height of his celebrity. It was documented. I want to say it was GQ magazine. I could be wrong with the magazine. He was interviewed. I'm talking about when he was it. Indiana Jones, any role he wanted. Oh. Bam, 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 bam. And they said, is there anything that you don't have? Anything. And he said, yeah, I don't have peace. He said, you know, it's always, it yeah. just doesn't feel, it all feels incomplete. It's just, it's never enough. I don't, I can't find peace and satisfaction in all this. It, there's moments where, and then it just vaporizes, it's gone. Mm-hmm. And we all can relate to that. When life is, well, yeah, the reason why, you know, Paul said, take these things and have, if you want to have things and whatever, fine, have fun. But it's an open hand, it's a vapor, it's gone. I mean, and, well, and, and what I it is, they don't have they don't yeah. have anything. But they're think about uh, the, how we deal with it, and they'll amplify it tenfold. They are sitting there confused because everything that they ever dreamed of, they've got, and it's not what they thought it would be. Sure, it, right. it still is meaningless. Yep. It has no Solomon at the end of his life. It, it, Justin Bieber ain't even close to what Solomon had. Ain't not even close. No, Solomon no. could buy Justin Bieber. Over and over <laughs> and over. Set him at the curb with a paper towel. And at the end of his life, he said, I did everything. Women, I did drinking, I did rich. I could have anything. And it was just a vapor. It just didn't mean anything. It all, it was, it just couldn't, it didn't have any standing power. It didn't last. And he said, I've realized that the end, if I could have got this earlier, fear God, that's where wisdom is, and, and live life the way he said to live. Do what he said to do. And see, until you do that, you, you know, just all we're seeing is different degrees of the same problem everybody listening to the show or watching the show has. You know, if you don't have peace, and you, you what don't, good is it? It don't mean either. I mean, it's just whatever the greatest thing you can think of, this world will hand you. And and then I was just reading this last night, Romans chapter eight. He says, "Those of you that live according to the flesh, the flesh brings you death, and the spirit brings you peace and life." And that's the problem. If you just want to just boil it down, whatever level, different degrees, it's all the same thing. The flesh is never never happy. It's never enough. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.